Oh, okay, you're filming. Oh, I'm not feeling good. Oh, I have cramps. Oh, okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Ruby Patchouli, back with another curly hair video. And in today's video, I'm going to be testing out a new product and I will be styling my hair with just this product. This is gonna be a very quick one. Even the most busiest curly hair girls can follow. I've heard a lot of great things about this product. She has a rosemary oil that really grows your hair. A lot of people rave about her line and I'm excited to try her product today. I already washed my hair last night and I just let it air dry. First things first, I'm going to wet my hair with my leave-in conditioner concoction. It's just the Cantu smoothing leave-in conditioner with water and I just damp my hair with it. So my hair is damp. I didn't want my hair to be too wet because like I said, this is going to be a very quick and easy wash and go. So I don't want to have too much time diffusing because we're busy women. We, we gotta go. We don't have all day to spend on our hair. So the next thing I'm gonna do is apply the styling product. The styling product that I'm using today, the guest star of today's video, is by the company called, I think it's Miel. It's the Rosemary Mint Daily Styling Cream. It also goes by the name of Multivitamin Daily Styling Cream as well. It is infused with biotin and it encourages hair growth, which many of us want hair growth. So yeah, sign me up. All right, so this is what the bottle looks like. I'll just post the picture up here. Good. It says, section hair and apply product to damp or dry hair. Do not rinse, style hair as usual. I am going to style my hair in sections. The way that I'm going to apply the product is just with my fingers. You can find this product at Target. It retails for $9.99. You can find it at a Rite Aid if they have those wherever you're located for, I think, $7.99. It is an 8-ounce bottle. $9.99 for 8 ounces, it's pretty good. It's more affordable than other hair products. I'm going to rake in the product. Okay, I got to use less because it is the consistency. It's in the middle. It's not it's not thin, but it's definitely not like a butter type uh, consistency. It smells like rosemary, which is very nice. That's a great touch. Now for the front of my hair, I will be using the styling brush because it's a problematic area for me. I'm growing out my bangs. So how much I'm taking not too much because i do have thin hair so i don't want to weigh my hair down the product claims to be able to nourish and moisturize your hair without wearing it down so that's good so when you're applying product and you're applying it with your hands try and apply it away from the scalp so that you can get more volume. This is my first time styling my hair, not in front of the mirror. So kudos to me for being able to do this like this. You know, I'm very curious to see how my hair turns out. I don't know if this ever happens to you ladies. Whenever I put minimal effort, not a lot of product or no product, my hair always comes out looking bomb. These sections are always so difficult. Okay, so now I'm gonna scrunch a little.
I recently went into the bathroom to look at all of my curls in the mirror. Whichever curls I saw that weren't curling the correct direction, I just finger coiled and that was just like a few, like probably four curls I did that to. And that's absolutely okay. That doesn't take a lot of time. Sometimes when you apply product with your hands, you're not able to get every single curl. So sometimes you're gonna have those weird curls curling the opposite direction. Just help them out, that's it. It took me like 30 seconds to do that. It's very quick and easy. And doing those simple touches makes a huge difference on how your hair comes out. I'm gonna diffuse now. I diffuse on low fan and low heat. If I am in a rush, I will increase the fan to two, but that's pretty much it. And then I start diffusing on my roots, like I start doing the hovering method. I learned from Mains by Mel. And then when it's like 95% dry, then I'll start putting the diffuser, the diffuser more into my scalp areas and scrunch my curls to try and give it more volume. And then after that, when it's completely dry, I like to give it a blast of uh, cool air. I'm fully dry finally <laughs> and this is how it came out right after diffusing. I'm going to show you guys how I blast air into my hair, like how much air I blast, what I do, so that you guys can see how this little tactic can give you so much volume so quickly and it can also break up the cast for you as well. So I take the diffuser part off and I'm gonna do cold air. Medium fan and no heat. These are my results and I went into the bathroom to examine this. So my hair does have a lot of definition. I was not expecting this much definition with one styling product. My hair feels very moisturized. It feels like it's going to withstand the entire day and sleeping. It does leave you with a cast. This hair routine took me about 30 minutes, but if you don't have 30 minutes, if you don't have 15 minutes to diffuse, just air dry your hair. I find that whenever I am able to air dry, I have much more volume and it's more fluffy. Just from reading the label and not doing my research with the ingredients behind, it states, this product will provide your hair with deep penetrating moisture while achieving effortless style results with this double duty gel cream. This unique product is light enough to moisturize and nourish hair without weighing it down, but powerful enough to tame frizz and provide the perfect hold for your favorite style. So does it do what it says it will do? It does. I do feel that I have gel in my hair, but not too much where it's too hard and it weighs it down. My hair does feel moisturized. I don't have that much frizz. I do have a little bit of frizz like right here, but that's pretty good. So yeah, it will give you frizzless curls. The first ingredient is water, which is perfect. You want your hair products to always have water as the first ingredient. Second ingredient is called sorbitol. What is sorbitol? It is a key ingredient in many of your hair care products. It's a mild surfactant that keeps your scalp and hair away from dryness, dirt, and infections which is amazing and it makes sense why they would have sorbitol in the ingredient list because it says that it encourages hair growth. It could be that they have that product because it keeps your scalp clean and your hair is not gonna grow unless your scalp is healthy and clean. If you have a lot of dirt and debris on your scalp, it can block your hair follicles from growing. The third ingredient is called acrylates. It's really hard to pronounce, but it's acrylates, methacrylate, copolymer. This ingredient 
ingredient is meant to set the hair and protect it from humidity. Makes sense why they say that it tames frizz because usually hume humectants are able to tame frizz. What is wrong with my speech? So those are the first three ingredients which are good ingredients, nothing harmful. After that you have sweet almond oil, glycerin which is another humectant. It has the peppermint oil, aloe vera leaf juice, which I love. If you see a product that has aloe vera juice, it's gonna be very nourishing for your hair, so try it out. It has the rosemary, coconut oil. It has a lot of good ingredients. I don't see any bad ingredients in this hair product. It has no parabens, no sulfates. It's not tested on animals either. It has no paraffins, no mineral oils, and no DEA, which is amazing. I would recommend this product for 3A, 3B, 3C curls. I can't say that I would recommend it for four type curls because it all depends if you have fine hair. Yeah, if your curl type is in the fours and you have fine hair, I do think that this product Product will work for you because it's not going to wear your hair down. Now, if you're in the four line and you have very beautiful, thick, high density hair, this product might not be moisturizing enough for you. However, it all depends on you. You're going to have to try this product to see if it does work for you. But I can say that this product will work on 3B to 3C curls. It will also work on fine hair because it will not weigh it down and I have low porosity and so far it feels very moisturized. It feels like I'm not going to lose any moisture but we will see. Tomorrow I will come back and I will give you guys an update on how it went and if my hair is still amazing tomorrow I will give this product a thumbs up. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is I did show you guys the blasting air method for more volume. You can do this in the morning. Whenever you take your hair out of your bonnet and it's a little flat, you can blast air on your roots to wake up your hair. That's fine, you don't have to do it day one. These steps are optional, but it's up to you. I know that this routine is a very simple routine for the women that are on the go that don't have a lot of time. But if you want more volume and you have a little bit more time to put in, you can decomp your curls. Another like quick alternative is to pick your hair. I have mentioned this in many of my videos. I will be back tomorrow and I'll let you guys know if I recommend this product or not. This is day two and these are how my curls have held up. I just finished working out and this is what I'm, I'm working with. I would definitely recommend it. I have not needed to refresh today at all and this is after working out. So there you have it. A very simple one step curly hair routine that even the most busiest of curly girls can do. Like this video and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching my video. It's Ruby Patchouli and I will see you guys next week. Okay, I know what I have to do. I have to talk when there's a red light outside and no cars are moving. <gasps> like you can hear that. That's so fucking loud. All right, that's it. I'm going, gonna do a quick take. Let's do this. Just fucking be natural, Ruby. Just be natural. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah.